Hey everybody, welcome back to One Seed, One World. Today I wanted to show you something else that we tried this year, and that's growing potatoes in bags instead of growing them in the ground. All my vines have pretty much uh, died off now, and so I'm gonna harvest these potatoes out of the bags and, and see what kind of take we got. I've not done this before. These are seven gallon bags, and I probably filled them maybe between quarter and halfway, maybe about a third of the way uh, full. And then I planted potatoes in there and covered them up with dirt. And then as the plants grew, I added, kept adding more dirt until I got kind of far up on most of them. Some of them I didn't get all the dirt in there, so I probably won't have any potatoes. But other of the bags are uh, filled up to the top. And I think I did three different varieties, Yukon Gold, uh, a red potato, and I forget what the other one was, uh, some type of white potato, I think. Um, but something I also I wanted to show you here is potato seeds and potatoes do produce seeds now you I mean you hear about seed potatoes uh, but they will also which can be kind of confusing because that's not really the seed that you're planting you're planting an actual tuber the, the, the just a mini potato is kind of what you plant uh, but the plants themselves can put off seeds or seed pods and it really depends on kind of what your season's like. A lot of times, uh, you know, the flowers will come on the top of your potato plant, but then they'll just fall off. But if you have the right environment with temperature and rain and all that kind of thing, sometimes they will also put off these seed pods. So the seed pods look like this. Hopefully that comes up on the camera. It's so bright out here, I can't see anything. And within each one of these little berry looking things are probably a hundred seeds or more and they're going to look kind of like tomato seeds because of course potatoes are in the same family as the uh, are in the nightshade family just like tomatoes and, and eggplant and peppers so their seeds look similar. Um, you never want to eat one of these. Potato seeds are poisonous. They're full of solanine uh, which is a toxic um, thing that is in nightshade plants. And if you were to eat one, uh, it could cause headaches, dizziness, stomach cramps, vomiting, um, diarrhea, and in extreme cases could also cause coma or death. So don't eat these. Don't let your pet eat these. Um, generally, I think animals will stay away from these things because they know better, but you know, just be aware uh, that if you do have potatoes that produce seeds, uh, these seed pods, make sure that you um, clean them up so that your dogs or something don't go and munch on them. Okay, so a good thing about planting them in bags is that you don't have to dig stuff up out of the soil. You can just pick up your bag and uh, dump it in the wheelbarrow and then sort out your potatoes. Makes harvesting a bit easier, for sure. Yeah, they're not very big potatoes, but I wasn't expecting a lot in here with growing them in bags. Wow. So, that bag, yeah, there's a bunch of rotten slime in here. That bag had three potatoes in it. Not very good. That's what I started out with. Okay, so the potato bag experiment was a bust for us. Uh, as you saw as I started dumping, we didn't get that many. I don't know if you can, there we go. That's the red potatoes. Those actually did a lot better. But still, this is like three quarters full. That's not very many potatoes. And the white and yellow potatoes, 
they did even worse. Not many in there. Even had one bag that didn't have any in it, except for the original potatoes that I planted in there. Okay, so growing the potatoes in those bags was kind of a bust. Um, don't let my experience deter you from trying to grow them in containers though. Uh, there are two reasons why I believe that the potatoes did not produce very much this year for me. Number one, those seven gallon bags aren't really wide enough and deep enough to let the potatoes kind of spread out and form new tubers and give you a lot of good potatoes. Um, you should probably have at least 18 inches and those the very top are 18 inches, but they didn't have enough room to, I think, grow down and then spread out more. Um, so I think that was part of the problem, not, not wide enough, not quite deep enough. Number two is potato plants will almost completely stop growing when it gets really hot out. And we have had just probably so much days in the 90s, mid 90s, high humidity, extreme heats, um, ever since May. I mean, we had 95 degree weather in May, uh, June, July, beginning of August. So it wasn't really the greatest environment for potatoes to grow and produce a lot. So they had that high temperature on top of not really having enough room to, to spread out. Now, I could probably plant some right now and they would do well and produce into the fall and for early winter harvest. Uh, that's always an option. You know, they prefer some cooler temperatures and might grow better. Uh, but I don't have really bigger containers. I do have a couple of uh, big uh, wine barrels, but I've got other stuff in them, like the, the half wine barrels. Those are good for growing potatoes in because they're wider. Uh, but I think I might just call it a, a season for the potatoes this time instead of planting more. Then I've got other things I want to plant in my open areas and I don't know if I really want to get into planting more potatoes. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll throw a few in and see if I get more plants to come up. But there you have it. Uh, growing potatoes in seven gallon bags. Uh, did not produce a whole lot. But, you know, a few meals worth. So, you know, it's not a complete loss. And I've learned how to do things better for next time. That's all you can ask for, really. But whatever's going on in your neck of the woods, in uh, your gardens, greenhouses, whatever it is that you're doing, I hope that uh, you're getting lots of potatoes if you planted some this year and that they produced more abundantly for you than they did for me. Um, but I appreciate you coming by and, and hanging out with me again today. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, give the video a like, put some comments below. I always like to respond to comments. Let me know your experience if you have grown potatoes in bags or other types of containers and how it turned out for you. So we will see you again soon. Have a great day. Namaste.